Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So this is an album I have already shared with you in a YouTube video, but this video was only available in German. So what I did is I just uploaded a reel to my Instagram account. So if you want to see what this uh, album looks like on the inside, then you can go to my Instagram and watch the latest reel there. I will make sure to put a link in the description box for you. But in this video, I'm going to share a second album I've made using the same paper pad. And I got this paper pad at a local craft store. So it's a store available in uh, Germany as well as, as in some other European countries. And I think it's a really cute paper pad with all these illustrations of the forest animals. So I had to get it and I wanted to make those two albums with it. And I just want to quickly mention here that for the future I plan on sharing my YouTube videos in um, German as well as in English. But sometimes I don't have the time to do both voiceovers. So yeah, just an information for you. Um, I want to keep in balance between my German and my English videos. So just if you saw a lot of German videos recently, I hope you're still staying and um, looking for more videos in the future, which will be and available in English as well. Also, I'm working on some new things at the moment, which I really can't wait to share with you. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And with that being said, I will just continue and show you what this album looks like. And you have probably read it by the title. So there is a giveaway, which I will talk more about at the end of this video. So first I want to mention here that this album is a 6x6 inch interactive mini album and when I say 6x6 inches I'm actually referring to the pattern papers used for decorating the inside of the album. So this means that the album cover itself is a little larger as well as the basic pages are also a little larger than 6x6 inches. And if you're new to my channel, I always create my mini albums by actually mixing and matching different interactive page styles. And I always choose these page styles from a collection of 50 different interactive page styles. But for more information on these um, page styles and how I use them in my albums and what you would need to actually make an album like this, you can just watch the video I will just link um, in the right corner right now as well as in the description box. So as you can see, I left the back cover very simple. I just added some pattern paper. And then to the front cover, I added this scallop frame by using a scallop frame die cut by Lawn Fawn. And I really love using these die cuts, which you will probably see um, throughout the album as well, because I'm using them a lot. But I also added the flowers using a flower die cut, as well as this little illustration from the paper pad, which I just fuzzy cut out. And that's what the first two pages look like, or actually the inside of the front cover and then the first page. And I made those two albums to actually show you what the page styles 1 to 25 look like. So there are some other videos on that, but also with these two um, albums, that's what I did. So in the first album, I used the page styles 1 to 20, uh, sorry, 1 to 12. And again, you can watch this project share on my Instagram account. And then in this album, I used the page styles 13 to 25. So that's what page style 13 looks like. So it's basically this tag pocket with a tag inside and you can use this tag for adding some photos or for doing some journaling. So you could add a three by four inch photo on here and then of course you could also use the back side of this tag. And to avoid for the pages to be too heavy and the album too um, bulky, I actually um, always, or not always, but most of the time, I would just add one page style on one double page and then I leave the other page of this double page um, simple. So that's what I also did here. So on the right side, there's just a simple basic page, which I covered with some pattern paper from the paper pad. And then I also decorated the corner by using another um, circle scallop frame die cut and then cutting it into four quarters. And then I also used a die cut for cutting out this hello, which I just added to the corner as well. 
Now for interactive page style number 14, we have those um, two flaps which you can open up to the sides and it closes with a ribbon closure. And for the 6x6 inch mini album, you could add two photos in the size 4x6 inches to the insides of those flaps. And for decorating, as you can see, I kept it very simple. I actually just noticed that I was about to use a stamp on the card here, but I forgot. So it's fine, it still looks good, but there is a lot of room you could add something to it. And then also for the basic page, I didn't do much. I just added this beautiful green colored um, pattern paper, which actually didn't came from the paper pad. So that's just a paper I had in my stash and that's something I always do. So when I use a collection or a paper pad, I'm always looking for matching colors. Now page style number 15 is definitely one of my favorite page styles so I use it very often and it's basically um, this page style with four flaps so you can just open up these flaps and add your smaller photos to the inside. So you could add four or eight small photos here and then for the closure I use a magnet closure. And for the decoration of those flaps, I just used um, a bunch of different uh, die cuts I have. So I used some smaller um, scallop frame die cuts and then I also used this, uh, these stitched frames and I looked into um, the paper pad to find some smaller illustrations, which I just cut out the square squares off and um, yeah, just placed them onto the scallop frames. And then again for the um, basic page I just added this little um, corner decoration here and actually I didn't glue it on completely so as you can see it is a tuck spot and I just tucked this little tag behind it with the illustration of the deer. For the next interactive page style we have two narrow pockets and this is page style number 16. So uh, what I do with these pockets is I just keep photo mats inside so you could use them again for photos or you could use them for journaling. Um, you could add large photos or you can just add some smaller photos instead. And for the closures you could choose between a magnet closure or what I did here is I used a velcro um, closure. Um, I also sometimes use uh, snap closures which I really like but for this <laughs> closure type I actually thought that it would be fun to make them look like snap closures but then um, again it's velcro circle closures but I added these larger enamel dots to make them look like um, snap closures. And for the left page I again just used my scallop frame die cut and added another one of those um, illustrations from the paper pad. Page style number 17 is this beautiful um, gatefold page and it's actually a triangle gatefold page so you can open up those triangle um, pages or flaps to the side and then you could use them for journaling again or to place some photos and then there's also the basic page in the middle which you could also use for adding your photos in any size you want to use here. And then I used the same illustration here again, but this time I cut it out by using a circle die cut and then I added it on top of a circle scallop frame die cut as well. Page style 18 is just a basic pocket page style and what you could always do or with most of those page styles you could actually um, change the orientation so because it's a square album you could add this pocket to the bottom as I did here or you could also add it to the side as a side pocket. And for, in, for the inside of this pocket, I just added um, a basic um, journaling tag or photo tag as well as a little photo mat, uh, which you can just um, open up and add two photos to. When using page style number 19, you have two larger photo flaps, um, which you can just uh, flip through the side and it's actually four photos in the size three by four inches. And then you have another two flaps on which you would attach either a ribbon or a string closure. And I also like to add some eyelets to this page style, but that's definitely optional, but that's what I did here. And then I also have the idea to cut out some flowers to actually make the eyelet look like the center of those flowers. 
And again, um, the decoration might be a little simple, but I really like how these two pages turned out. So what I always do is I try to match both pages on a double page. So I use the flower die cut again to also add a brown flower um, to the corner on the right side. And then I try to match the colors from the illustration. For page style number 20 we have those two um, corner pockets, so these are triangle corner pockets and then I have a square photo mat in the size 4x4 4 4 inches which, are, which is just tucked behind those pockets and then you could use the back side for a 4x4 4 4 inch photo and for decorating again I just used my scallop frame die cut and one of the cards from the um, paper pad. Page style 21 is especially great if you want to use um, more photos on one page. So it is um, a booklet with a magnet closure. Again, you could also use a Velcro circle closure or a snap closure here. And then you have some pages on which you could place your 3 by 4 inch photos. And I again used this large enamel dot for making it look like um, a snap closure. And it's actually, for me, it's a pretty good way to use up those larger enamel dots because usually I would only use the smaller ones from a set to decorate the corners. So yeah, that's a great way for me to using them up. Now to the next two pages I actually had to add um, two interactive page styles to make all those um, page styles I want to show you fit into this album. So that's what I did here. I added page style 22 to the left side and 23 to the right side. And for page style 22 you would need um, two swing features which I really like to include in my page styles and um, then you have this larger photo flap which you could add a photo in the size 4 by 6 inches to. And for page style number 23 I have a stack pocket in which I again um, placed a journaling tag as well as a little photo booklet. And then we can already look at the last two pages. So we have um, page style number 24 on the left side. And this is basically a page with um, two flaps which look like um, tags. So you can just flip them to the side and then add your photos or your journaling to the inside of those flaps. And then on the right side or actually on the inside of the back cover there is um, page style number 25 which is a waterfall page style with a ribbon closure. And again for decorating I just used my corner jumpers here to decorate the corners um, on the waterfall page a little and then I just added some of these beautiful illustrations and um, the scallop frame die cut. And that's already it for the project chair for this album. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching it and that you also like how this album turned out. So if you did, I would love to get your feedback in the comments down below. Leave a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And now, as I said in the beginning of the video, there is a giveaway. So let me just explain to you how this giveaway works and what you would need to do in order to win one of those prizes. So you can win one of three digital interactive mini album bundles. And those bundles include um, the cutting guides and the templates for making each of those interactive page styles as well as the album cover, the hinge and the basic pages. And they're actually available for the size 6x6 and 8x8 inches and there are also um, two bundles each. So as I just said in this video I showed you um, the second part for my first bundle. So the first bundle includes all page styles 1 to 25 and then the bundle number 2 includes all page styles um, 26 to 50. And if you win this giveaway, you can just choose if you want your uh, bundle for the size 6x6 or 8x8 inches as well as if you want um, bundle number 1 or bundle number 2.
And to enter this giveaway, you simply have to leave a comment in the comment box telling me which page style you like the most. So you can tell me any page style from um, those two albums or you could also watch um, other videos with my page styles included if you don't know them yet. And if you have already used one of my bundles, then you probably know which page style is your favorite. So just leave it in the comment box down below. And if you want to get an extra entry, then make sure to also go to my Instagram page and watch my latest reel. So I hope you are having a great day and that I will see you back in my next video. Bye!